Hey all, welcome back. It's me Preeti. Today I'm going to teach you how to find the characters which are actually present in the multiples of three index position. So I've already heard about these uh, questions like to find the elements which are present in even index to find the elements which are present in odd index. So this is a different question that is how to find the elements or find the characters which are present in the index position which is multiple of three. Okay. So whatever you can see on the screen is just uh, initialization and declaration of a string. So I've given a string as confused. So now uh, the um, index positions which are multiples of three will be zero, will be three, will be six, right? So we're supposed to find the index positions first, which are actually multiples of three and later display the characters which are present in those. Okay. So we're just left with initialization and declaration. Now I'm going to convert my string to an array. I've already told you why do we actually need to convert just to perform an operations on the individual elements of the string. So just give char c is equals to s dot to char array. So when you do s dot to char array, it is going to convert your string to an array. After converting your string to an array, I'm using the for loop to iterate my character array which contains an actual values of strings so after converting my character array or after iterating my character array the main logic is if any index position i value if we perform a modulus on that with the value of three and if it is equals to zero that is if the reminder is equal to zero then please print that index positions right so if i modulus three is equals to zero that is if any index position value i when we perform modulus with three and it and it leaves a reminder as zero then please display that index position because that index positions are actually multiples of three so i'm just gonna save this program and run so when you run you should actually get zero three and six zero three and six are the index positions which are multiples of three of that particular string which i have given so you can give uh, any string so when you give any string as an input you get different outputs based on the number of characters or the index positions which your string contains. So just save this program and run. So when you run, you get it in a horizontal way. That is the reason I have just take or took off ln. Okay. So now I don't want to display the index position, but I want to display the elements which are present in this index position. So I want to display the elements which is present in zero index position, which is present in third index position and sixth index position. So just replace your i with c of i because c is your character array and c contains all of your elements. Okay. But i is just an index position. It just prints the index position. Whereas c contains all the values of your given string. That is the reason you just give c of I. so save and run your program so you should get c f and e c f and e are the characters which are of uh, multiples of three index position okay so i hope you people understood this uh, program which is very simple so if you didn't understand please do let me know in the comments and uh, please do watch my previous videos to understand this even more better because i have already explained all the inbuilt methods and the basics so basics are, are gonna be the strongest things that you want to learn to understand the further complex programs so please do watch the basic programs uh, i mean the basic uh, videos i have made regarding the strings so after watching that i i'm damn sure that you will understand this program as well because the only one thing i've used here is to carry array the inbuilt method which is actually converting my string to an array right yes uh, i hope you people understood this video if you didn't understand please do let me know in the comments or if you want me to make any different videos on the topics whichever you want to learn that also you can let me know in the comments so that i can i can make a videos regarding that and uh, i can come back in a better approach so you can understand it even more better right yes if you did like if you really did like this video please do share and subscribe among your friends and tell them how easy it is to code right yes thank you so much for watching guys